2021 is the year of rollable screens, faster phones, and upcycling, baby. Today I am going over new tech announced at the beginning of 2021 that will really set the stage for an awesome year in technology, especially when it comes to cell phones. You're watching What's Loud TV. I'm Sherry Riggs. Now, most of the announcements and the information I'm sharing with you today was announced at CES 2021. And because CES is all digital this year, lots of this information is falling through the cracks. So I'm gathering it all up and I'm delivering it to you via whistle out. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, comment, like, and of course, turn on those notifications. I come out with about three videos every week. One, on, one is normally live on Mondays and two are normally produced on Wednesday and Friday and I'd love for you to join me. So today I'm going over some really cool tech that I've found and wanna share with you all. It has to do with rollable, rollable screens upcycling old cell phones, which isn't new tech, but it is kind of new tech. I'll, we'll go over it when we get there. And also some awesome new budget-friendly phones and new processing powers that were announced at CES. But first, we are going to start with TCL, the king or queen, the monarchy of budget phones and just budget tech in general. They made a huge announcement saying they are releasing a new line of budget-friendly smartphones called the TCL 20 series. Now, the really exciting part of this is that at least one of those phones is going to be 5G friendly. And they announced that to this week at CES. It is called the TCL 25 G. It is going to be $360 only, which is crazy. And here are some of the specs that I think you might be interested in. It has a 6.7 inch screen, so pretty large. You will not be missing out on any screen space there. It has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. It has a 48 megapixel camera with a wide lens and a macro lens, and it has the Snapdragon 690 processor in there. So all around a decent phone, especially that 48 megapixel camera. Sign me up for that. And at $360 only, this might be, dare I say, the cheapest, most affordable, budget-friendly 5G phone in the market right now. Now, TCL hasn't released or hasn't given a release date or an order date for these phones yet, but I imagine it will happen in the next few months and they will be releasing three other phones throughout the year for a total of five. They also released the TCL, S, TCL 20 SE this week as well. So we don't really have any order dates there, but I imagine we'll have all five phones ready to go by mid year. So you're gonna have lots of budget friendly options for your next cell phone. The second awesome piece of tech I wanna go over with you has to do with a new type of screen. Now we've kind of seen this in the past. It's a flexible screen. It's not a foldable screen. That's totally 2020. This is a rollable screen. So think Saran Wrap if it was a television, I guess. But TCL and LG both kind of teased some really cool tech that has to do with rollable screens. We'll start with LG since they kind of teased a rollable cell phone. Now we don't really have much info on this rollable cell phone here. All we have is this tiny little clip, this GIF that I was able to pull off the internet. It shows a regular sized phone rolling up into a small tablet. Now LG calls this the rollables and we know that it will be released sometime this year i am not super hopeful with this phone i think it's going to be one of those foldable phone disasters that we saw when foldable phones started coming out but here's the thing if it works out that would be awesome i think it's a really cool idea having a flexible screen like this but i don't really know how successful it will be the other piece of rollable tech that I saw that I wanted to kind of touch on was from TCL again. Shout out to TCL for being one of my favorite exhibitors at CES and being one of my favorite companies ever for cheap technology, but they're not cheap, just budget technology. There we go, that's a better word for it. Uh, but TCL came out with a 17 inch tablet, but the tablet rolls. It looks like a scroll from, I don't know, from a pirate ship or a pirate's map. It is one of the most interesting pieces of technology I think I've seen. Now here's the thing, 
I don't know if it's actually made yet. I don't think it is. I think it's just a concept idea. Who is going to be like, let me pull out this tablet and I will show you the directions to where we need to go. And it's, it's just awkward and long and weird. And I am not a fan of it. Even if it does come out to be able to be purchased, I don't think I ever would. Um, it just seems like too much of a hassle for me. Although I will say the technology that has to do with flexible screens is really impressive. I myself would love a rollable TV because my TV currently, when I'm not filming, sits on the back of my couch right here. Roll that footage. <laughs> So yeah, having more space would be awesome and flexible screen technology like from TCL and LG would be awesome in saving space for me in my house and creating thinner TVs is always awesome. So I think the technology, the idea behind it is terrific, but the applications of it so far are not my favorite. Can someone please impress me? Gosh. <laughs> The next piece of tech I want to go over with you is from Motorola. Now, Motorola has also in the past tried to get into some flexible screen games. Uh, they tried making the their flip phone last year, it didn't really take off, and this year they have, I think, decided to stray away from that and they are going in another direction. They are also kind of tapping the budget-friendly phone market on the shoulder and saying, hey, we want in on this action. And they have released the Motorola One Ace. It is 5G capable and it is under $400, which is terrific. The only catch here is that it only connects to sub six 5G signals. And I'll break that down for you. Basically, it can probably connect to millimeter wave 5G, which is the gigabit download speeds you've come to see and love from like Verizon and AT&T. They have that really high millimeter wave 5G. This Ace phone from Motorola likely won't play nicely with millimeter wave. It'll only really connect to low band and mid band 5G. So it'll only connect to the slower ranges of 5G, not the super fast and what you'd be looking to the speeds you'd be expecting or looking at with this phone are between, you know, 100 megabit per second download speeds and uh, maybe six to 800 megabit Mbps. So uh, it, it's a budget phone. It's a great idea, but it doesn't fully cover the whole realm of 5G, which is maybe something we can expect from future budget friendly 5G phones is they don't cover the whole gambit of 5G, just portions of it. Some other aspects of this phone are that it is has a 6.0 inch full HD display, it has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, a 48 megapixel camera with a wide cam and a macro cam, and it is only $400, which I'm on board with that. There are two more things I want to go over today. It's upcycling and Qualcomm. So first we're going to go through the upcycling new tech from Samsung. Now when you hear upcycling or recycling, you don't normally think new, but this is how they're making it new. Samsung is asking that if you have an old phone rattling on a drawer somewhere, or if you're thinking about throwing out your phone, don't do that. You can upcycle and reuse your phones. What they're gonna do is push through some new software updates and upgrades to your old devices, and you can choose how you wanna use that phone. And they are making some suggestions. You can use it as a baby monitor. It can do the exact same thing other baby monitors do, but you don't have to buy it. You already have it. It's your phone. You can stream a picture right to an app on your phone. You can monitor your baby, or you can put it on your wall and make it to control your thermostat, or you can use it as a remote control. The options are endless. And what Samsung is doing is adding more life into your old technology by sending you new software upgrades. Now, maybe some of you might be thinking, I'm not using my phone as a baby monitor. I'm not gonna use my phone, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to, it's just an idea. And it's just in a way to get more bang for your buck out of your old tech. And personally, I still have an old few cell phones, a few old cell phones laying around. And I'm thinking I can put those to use as well. Uh, maybe that's a whole new video I'll do is what you can do with your old cell phones and how to upcycle and reuse them. But Samsung is putting that to the test and showing us how we can do that with all of our old tech. And I think that's a really great idea. It really shows that the possibilities are endless with old technology. Once we're done with it, once it's been useful for us in how we use our cell phones, it can still be useful in other ways. We can breathe new life into old things and we don't have to keep adding to the trash of the world. The last 
piece of tech I want to go over with you is from Qualcomm. Qualcomm announced that they are just all around making their on-screen fingerprint sensors even better than before. These new sensors are gonna be bigger, faster, and better. They will be twice as fast, and they will be much bigger on screen, so you don't have to find the perfect spot to test your fingerprint. It'll just be a little bit more generic now. And then as well, they will be much more secure. It will be scanning the ridges of your finger but that better than before, and also says it will be able to sense the pores on your fingerprints, which I literally, I didn't realize my fingers had pores. I thought that was strictly a <laughs> face thing. No, I know there's pores everywhere, but I didn't really realize that your fingers had pores. That's still new info for me. Um, so yeah, Qualcomm says better, faster, stronger fingerprint sensors. And what we will likely see is this new fingerprint sensor being put to use on the new Samsung phones being announced this week and this month. That's it for today. Thanks for watching Whistle Out TV. What kind of new cell phone tech are you looking forward to? Does any of this new technology excite you at all? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Sherry Riggs and you're watching Whistle Out TV.